here's the finished product. You know, there was glue in here, so it's best to get in there and hog some of that out so that you can get maximum amount of uh, copper. And the copper we're going to use is only my best. This is my private reserve of copper. That's right, aged to perfection. <laughs> it can withstand 293 degrees Fahrenheit. Has a tensile strength of I don't know what. And can really pass the juice on. So hold on to your potatoes. If I can ever find the fucking beginning of this thing. I don't pull this copper out for just anybody. So you should feel special, Dad. Because this is special copper. Magic. Bet you didn't know that there was magic copper in the world, but there is. You see the sprinkles and dingles as I unroll it. Each strand holds magical powers beyond your belief. Blurling, blurling, blurling. I'll show you what it looks like when I get ready to wipe the motor. Be ready. Okay. So. I don't know how many strands yours had originally. I do know that they were seven thousandths of an inch um, in diameter. And I'm gonna presume that it maybe had like four or five. I don't know, yeah, I, you know. Anyways, 10 turns, according to the bell housing thing. That could have been why you blew the motor. For some reason, I thought it was 1100 kV. So that's why I was adamant about you getting that nine inch prop. But now looking at the bell housing, it says 1400. I'm like, well, that's what I thought I bought you. But for some reason, I thought I read it on a video when I saw it on the video. I like, thought I said 1100. And so then I altered my figures. And anyways, so we're going to do a three strand um, at 11 thousandths of an inch. And we are going to attempt 10 turns. So. This would be the back side of the motor, you know, like if you're sitting in the cockpit and looking at the front, this would be the back side of the motor. The front would actually be on the side, so you always start from the back side. Okay, and the first two you do will be clockwise. So just put it in there. Okay. In the beginning, if you want, it doesn't have to be that pretty. You can literally just won't, 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 won't wind it. So, and it doesn't count as a wind until you pass the the wire you know you can't just come up to it that doesn't count like just coming up to it like that you gotta like literally cross so you know for me on this tooth I, I counted as one until I come down so one two and then I'll keep a spare propeller on hand so that I can pack it in there. And this is just a rough method that I'm showing you right now. I have different propellers and stuff like that that work really good. All the ones that bust are the ones that I use for this. But anyways, two. Three. So I'm going to do all the turns and then I'll come back to you. Four. Okay, so yours was originally 10 turns. I'm going to do it at nine. So you're going to want to get like an eight inch prop. Don't go to the nine. Get an eight inch electric, not slow flyer. Um, so that's nine turns. So anyways, here's the looking the back looking from this is the back of the motor so clockwise nine turns and so I pass it nine and then you come around to the next two and you go counterclockwise okay. 
and looking at the back of the motor when you go to the next tooth you will be going counterclockwise in rotation as well so not only will you be winding counterclockwise but you'll be jumping tooth in a counterclockwise direction looking at the back of the motor and so we'll do uh, nine turns here and um, you can actually wind each strand individually so you know that was one you know anyways you can do that I was doing that at the end so not at the beginning but um, anyways You can also pull on the individual strands, that'll help to really pull any slack out of there. And whatever you do, don't lose your count. Wait, what was I at again? That was at six, right? I think, wasn't it? strands. Eight. And you don't have to come back all the way around for nine. Nine you can just go. jump over to the other side. So on the last tooth that you were at, you would jump over 180 degrees to the other side. Okay, just gonna leave enough room there for um, when you put it back on its mounting base thing with the little tubito goes in there. So on this, when you jump to the other side, 180, you're gonna come in and wind clockwise around this tooth. Okay. I'll do the nine turns and then come back to you. Okay, so we've done nine turns, so we're three quarters of the way done on the first phase. So, came in clockwise, nine turns, there's the ninth, Is it crossed over, you know, obviously there's a wire. Oh, camera's gonna fall. Oh dear.
so when we made the jump to the next tooth looking at the back of the motor we had gone counterclockwise in direction now when you jumped over now the next tooth that you're going to jump to on this one actually you'll be going in a clockwise direction and so still started over here jumped over there and came over and now we're about to jump over to this tooth and we're going to go counterclockwise On this one, I consider it to be a complete turn when I have the wires coming up towards me. On the other teeth, it's when I have when I go and I'm pulling down. That to me is one turn. But this, the last tooth, it's always it's, it's at that the end of the or the complete turn is me pulling these wires up. If I'm pulling the wires down, I'm still not at a complete turn yet. So that was two. and then I'll get I'll do it all and then I'll get back to you